Mic checker. Chica, chica, chica. It's not some, baby. Uh, yeah. A one time, baby. Uh, what? Uh, for your mind, baby. Uh, yeah. We gon' shine, baby. Uh, and what we do, we gon' grind, baby. Uh, yeah. What? And this is another episode, so, so. A Swingers After Dark. And this is your host. Not some, baby. What's good, family? You know, um, I got a little headache and got the little bit of the chills. But guess what? We still gonna rock out with our cocks out. Yeah, da 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 dig. And I want to talk about rejection. Yes, handling rejection. You know, first and foremost, you gotta understand that you know everybody. Everybody's not going to gravitate towards you. You're not going to be everybody's cup of henny. You're not going to be everybody's cup of tea. And everybody's not not going to want to sip the tea that you spill. You know what I'm saying? And you got to realize that that everybody's not going to play with you. Everybody don't want to play with you. You're not everybody's flavor. Everybody's not going to be attracted to you. And you got to understand that. And you know how you handle rejection is going to determine your character. You know what I'm saying? Are you going to act like a bitch? Now, when I say bitch, that's not gender specific because men can act like bitches as well. You know, they they want to cuss out the woman because she turned down his sexual advances or she ignored him. You know what I'm saying? He want to cuss out and want to shit on her, drag her name through the mud. Kick her back in and do all this bitch made shit. Then you have the women, they wanna be petty, they wanna gossip about you, spread rumors about you that's not true. You know what I'm saying? It's like, really? You really value sex over your dignity. See, that's the problem. You know, a lot of people say that it's ego, that it's pride, that people can handle rejection when it comes to the opposite sex or when it comes to attraction in general. But here's the thing. You know, it's like you put too much value on that person over yourself. By you getting so much emotional because that person doesn't take a liking towards you, you saying to yourself subconsciously that this person, that I'm not complete without this person. I'm not saying on a, um, that you have to get with them. But I'm just saying, you putting that person over a pedestal over you when you so emotional and you want to act out of character because this person doesn't want to fuck with, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? It's like you want to cuss out the person. You want to embarrass yourself. You want to lose your sense of worth and value. You want to get depressed because this woman or this man doesn't want to have sex with you, doesn't want to be with you, doesn't find you attractive. You know what I'm saying? You want to seek validation from strangers when in actuality, you should seek validation from yourself, from your damn self. You know what I'm saying? It's not that damn serious or deep to get mad when a person doesn't want to fuck you at one of these lifestyle parties. It's not that serious. You know? If a person doesn't want to play with you, then take that L and move the fuck on. Or, ch- like, charge it to the game. You know, just just um, keep it moving. Don't say anything else. But don't throw a fit. Don't throw a hissy fit. You know, like dudes. It's like dudes, they still baby boys. I want to talk about the dudes right quick. You know what I'm saying? They still baby boys. They got that boyish mentality. You know what I'm saying? Mama didn't want to give you that popsicle, so you want to throw a fit. So this chick doesn't want to give you the pussy. Now you want to throw a fit. Like you're damn fifth, like you five-year-old. You know what I'm saying? You're reverting to that boyish mentality that you didn't grow out of because you're going through arrested development as a grown man. And ladies, you too. You figured that, you know, I got a pussy. So men should throw their dicks 100 miles power at me at all costs. That's that's what you're thinking. And that's not true. 
Listen, ladies, I've seen the baddest women, the baddest women get turned down. I've seen the baddest women get this. They get this. Everybody gets this. You know what I'm saying? Everybody gets this. So don't take it personal. If somebody doesn't want to, when you go to these parties and somebody doesn't want to play with you, don't feel the way. Because you putting too much power in that person's validation or false sense of validation towards you. You know what I'm saying? It's like you feel validated when people say yes. You want somebody else to validate your attraction instead of yourself. And you have to grow out of that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people say that people are stuck in their ways. And I say... On the contrary, people are only stuck in their ways if they choose to be. Because I'm a firm believer that you don't get old until you're dead. You're always growing. You're always learning. You're always improving on yourself, on your character. You know what I'm saying? Because guess what? If a woman doesn't want to, if a woman doesn't want to play with me or fuck me, then hey, she's missing out on this A1 dick. She's missing out on this shucky ducky quack quack. You know what I'm saying? She's losing out on this E, Charlotte. Because I know that I'm packing, packing, packing. And when I hit them draws, she's going to get that nut, nut, nut. When I bust them cheeks. And when I'm digging them guts. And when I bust that nut, I could actually bust it on her face, on her titties, on her stomach. On her ass or anywhere she wants me to bust. Because she's gonna get it. But hey, she's missing out. That's how you should think. You should think that she's the one who's missing out on a good, good old damn old time. That's how you should think. Don't like pout. Don't get mad. Like, that's a wasted emotion. Just say, eh. You know what I'm saying? Listen, family, men, women, don't ever feel a way when somebody rejects you. Even when, even when they stink about it, even when they're rude about it, don't ever feel a way. Don't ever put, don't ever allow somebody to be the puppet master of your emotions. Don't do that because you're bigger than that. You're better than that. You know what I'm saying? You can only validate yourself. When you, when you wake up and look in the mirror, you looking in that mirror. The person in that mirror is the reflection of you. You have to look at yourself every day. You know what I'm saying? Not the other person. They don't validate you. You know yourself. So therefore, you know, boss up. Because the way you react to rejection is going to determine whether you're a king or queen or a peasant that's going to distinguish you from royalty from peasantry you know what I'm saying because rejection is a part of life sorry to say it's a part of life you may not get that job you may not get that promotion you may not get that girl you may not get that chick you may not get that boy you may not get that dude you may not get whatever you want out of life but hey always have a plan B through Z when life throws you curveballs and when life give you lemons then make lemonade baby yeah da 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 dig that's words from your favorite author not son I just wanted to holler at y'all right quick you know I, I got a headache so you know I, I may not be as crisp as I'm usually am but fuck it, the show must go on, you know? So, handling rejection, just make sure, you know, don't take it personal. Just keep it moving. That's the best thing you, you could do. Don't curse it out. Don't feel the way, don't get in her inbox. Don't call her all types of bitches and hoes because she doesn't accept your sexual advances. And ladies, don't, you know, don't throw shade at him. Listen, I was at a lifestyle party in Dallas, right? And make a long story short, it was this chick, you know, you know, we was talking, but it was apparent that I wasn't attracted to her. She, she didn't make my dick jump, so to speak. 
So later that evening, you know what I'm saying, I hooked up with another man's wife. And we got it in. Well, kind of. So, you know, this woman, this wife is, is sucking my dick. Another man's wife is sucking my dick. And, you know, I don't have a problem with people watching me play. I don't have a problem with voyeurs. But I only have a problem when people want to talk up a storm and don't want to give me three fucking feet. Listen, when you're a voyeur and you see somebody fuck in a playroom, shut the fuck up and give them three feet. Anyway, so the chick who I was talking about earlier, she want to be obnoxious and shit. She want to be loud. You know what I'm saying? She want to be loud and she, she threw me off. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's, it's hard for me to concentrate when people want to talk and fuck up the whole mood and the session. And because she was salty, because I low-key rejected her advances, she want to be loud and shit. The bitch gonna say shit like, Oh, New York. They call me New York. Oh, New York can't keep his dick hard in front of people. Oh, New York is scared of her husband. That's why his dick can't get hard. Yo, she was saying this off and on, on and on and on and on, yo. Fucking up my nut. And it's like, damn. So needless to say, you know, I didn't I didn't bust them, I didn't bust my nut. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't I didn't climax. Not only because of that is and also because of thirsty dudes, they want to jump in my session. Because they can't get pussy on their own merit So they want to be scavengers And try to get their dick sucked From the chick who I was fucking And it's like damn But anyway that's besides the point The point is don't be petty When somebody rejects you Don't be petty Don't be childish That's not a good look You know what I'm saying Don't be petty Don't throw insults Don't be childish Alright Alright This has been another episode of Swingers After Dark And this is your host Not son, baby Check out my website www.nahsunblaze.com That's www.nahsunblaze.com Nasunblaze.com And check out my ebook You, Me, Us, Them The Swinger Manifesto It's on Nook, Kindle, iBooks Google Play, all that good stuff and check me out on Instagram. That's Nasun the Great. Check me out on Twitter at Nasun One, the number one. Check me out on Snapchat. Snapchat is for the ladies only. That's Nasun the Great. Check me out on Tumblr, Nasun the Great. And check me out on Facebook, Planet Nasun. And shoot me an email. The email is in the pinned post. All right? All right. And on that note, peace.